Hi, everybody. Um, I'll try to keep this short. Uh, so I, and uh, I want to just jump in real quick here is we got some stuff going on. As first, I just want to get to get it out there is that uh, building building the iOS app is is a bit of a hassle. So but if you want to try it for free, you can either try the, the current test flight beta, which has the latest greatest code. It's still, you know, under development. And then we also have an older release that's about a year old year or so older. Uh, that's in the main Mac store. Both are free. It's just a little more hassle to, you know, a few more clicks to sign up for the Apple's test flight program. But I highly recommend it's free. Go ahead and uh, try it out. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. Anyway, so let's skip to, to building real quick. Uh, what are the, I have a few uh, things here. First, first, I want to just highlight the history. This thing, uh, this thing has been worked on for over a decade. Why? Because it's really complex, uh, making a really big, uh, highly complex desktop application like C, uh, like LibreOffice with the C++ code work on a mobile device. Uh, the, the mobile iOS is, devices have gotten a lot better in the last few years, thankfully. Uh, but before then, uh, it was really a struggle to deal with LibreOffice's uh, VCL, its visual class library. So uh, the really big thing to note was, was Clavera Online saved that. Uh, Clavera Online with its HTML rendering uh, really brought this uh, brought brought this to the forefront in iOS. Without that, I think we'd still be struggling uh, trying to adapt LibreOffice's heavyweight uh, C++ API, you know, component by component and dialogue by dialogue. But fortunately with Collabor Online, we're allowed, we can now take the, the same experience on Safari in a web browser and we can put it right in the iOS app without any, really a lot of extra engineering. So it really, we get two, two uh, iOS and Mac OS uh, ways of doing things without actually having to write completely different code than we would on, say, Linux or Windows. Anyway, so a couple screen snapshots real quick. Uh, see, uh, we're using, it just, just demonstrates the HTML and JavaScript combination to render. All, all of this is HTML rendered through JavaScript uh, code. And uh, what you see with the native input methods, that's actually uh, WK WebView. It's basically the Safari engine. So uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that communicates behind the scenes to run on the online server and LibreOffice in the background. But the actual rendering is done by Collabora Online's JavaScript and HTML. Okay, so just a few notes about building here. Uh, you can build it entirely on Mac OS. I do it on a Mac, Mac uh, Silicon machine. Uh, most of the build is pretty straightforward, albeit slow, is like LibreOffice. Uh, Mac ports, if you can find a homebrew package that will work instead for, I think it's NPM is for the most part what we, what we use for Mac ports, uh, but probably homebrew would work. Uh, but the real key here is all of this is open source. Yeah, it's all free, but the, the one thing you're going to run into is the last bullet point here is, is Xcode. Xcode really is a pain if you don't have uh, a, one of the $99 Apple uh, development team members memberships. Um, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to need that, and you're going to have to register a unique bundle ID to even compile this. Uh, I've noticed that Apple really has gotten strict about this now, and you can't just run with no code signing locally anymore, it seems. I'd love to, I got I hope somebody finds a way to do this, but it, so far, unfortunately, you gotta find somebody, either have a Apple developer membership ID or you gotta be a part of their, someone else's uh, development team. Yeah, and so this brings up the common problems as a kind of reiteration of it here. Uh, but also a couple other restrictions is running the app is you're gonna have to have an iOS device. Emulators aren't gonna work. Uh, I, Maybe some enterprising individual will figure out a way to compile LibreOffice for Intel, uh, but right now it's, it's only compilable for, for ARM. Um, and also the MyMac, uh, you're running an iPad on a Mac Silicon, is very unstable, and the user interface is odd because there's just really no mapping uh, between the UI document browser view that we use on iOS with, uh, with the Mac OS. Anyway, so just some stuff we're doing right now uh, and should be seen doing is we're moving a lot more stuff to HTML. There's still a few vestiges of LibreOffice, LibreOffice's uh, old uh, VCL UI layout. And uh, like, for example, on the right, you see the, the old VCL style. It works, but it's pretty tough to use in a single touch environment. So Collabora Online, those engineers have been moving this over to JavaScript and, and or HTML. Um, 
to make sure that you know it's a lot more you know in the web browser with HTML rendering it's a lot easier to uh, make it single touch friendly. Yeah, so those are the big things going on right now. Is where our architecture is very stable, but really we're spending a lot of time now with the Collabor Online of of, of making it appear nice and 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 work similarly to uh, the desktop application. Uh, some some events you know don't map well, and you know, but the the usually is just a scattering of small bugs. For the most part, the architecture is, is very stable and fully implemented. All right, well that was uh, that went pretty quick, so I'll I'll finish out and say thank you.